Hey guys, another video from Eamon of Tech Info Team. Visit us on the web at techinfoteam.com or follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash Eamon Farouk. And what I have today is probably the hottest, most anticipated new Android phone. This is the Sprint Evo 4G. Probably the most anticipated phone of the year thus far. And this is my first impression. Just picked up the phone this morning and it's quite nice so far. Um, I was a little worried that the phone was going to be a little bit too big and I don't have the biggest hands but fits pretty comfortably button can be a little awkward to push for power but there we go notice in the back we got an 8 megapixel camera with the red highlighting around it dual LED flash we got the speaker right there and we've got the kickstand which has a nice satisfying click as it opens set the phone right down like that and we've got that gorgeous 4.3 inch LCD screen um, right off the bat uh, I've noticed the, the haptic feedback on this phone is actually really nice I like it a little bit better than what I have on the Nexus um, HTC Sense runs nicely on this phone I'm still deciding whether I like it better than Froyo or not that's gonna take some uh, testing but so far so good on this phone uh, so let's just let me run you through a quick overview of what we've got on here let's see if I can't move that camera back just a little bit alright so we have the 4.3 inch LCD screen we've got four uh, capacitive buttons here at the bottom which are actually quite nice and responsive and you see there we've got that HTC Leap your little home screen thing you can also access that by multi-touch um, so we've got that 4.3 inch screen and if you look up here at the top we've got that 1.3 megapixel front facing camera um, on the bottom we've got a micro USB port for USB uh, mounting and charging and we've got an HDMI I believe type B uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments um, but that can uh, plug in right into your HDTV or monitor that has HDMI. Um, moving on to the side we have our volume rocker which is a little unusual to have it on the right side but it works. Uh, it feels pretty good. It pops out just enough where it's uh, nice and usable but not so much so that it uh, takes away from the attractiveness of the phone. Now moving on Again, we've got that 8 megapixel camera here, dual LED flash, speakers, kickstand, and on the top here, we've got the power button and our 3.5 millimeter jack. Um, the 3.5 millimeter jack is nice, we've seen it on a lot of the high end phones. Um, and also, as uh, should be noted, using headphones with this device allows you to use FM radio. So that is nice and convenient. Um, let's see, continuing on. I don't know if I have anything else to show you guys with just the hardware aspects of this phone, but I will have more videos coming. This is just the start. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment or hit me up on Twitter. Uh, this has been Eamon Farouk of Tech Info Team. Till next time.